everyone please pray this very seriously this is part of the miracle service are you ready now say father shout it let it be with all your heart say father in this season i decree and declare that i'm going forward i'm making progress lift your voice and begin to pray decree and declare in this season someone is praying you came for a miracle service command your own progress in this season in this season i decree and declare i make progress i make progress by the power of the holy ghost progress spiritually someone is praying progress in business progress academically progress maritally someone open up your mouth and pray progress progress someone is praying in the name of jesus in this season i make progress in ministry i make progress in this season i go forward every delay every stagnation against my life against my progress i come against you someone is praying a believer is praying I make progress. I make progress. I make progress. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. This is August the 8th month. We are stepping into September the 9th month. And the Bible says, as soon as Zion travails, she shall put forth her son. Is someone ready to pray? Shout it, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every vision, every prophetic word that is still hanging over my destiny as I step into this month and September. Let it manifest. Open your mouth and pray. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. Every vision every prophetic word someone pray let it manifest great things that have been spoken concerning me let it manifest let it manifest the increase let it manifest someone you are praying breakthrough let it manifest open doors let it manifest let it manifest by the power of the holy ghost you are praying let it manifest Shakata pakata lakata. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. Someone pray. My marital destiny. Let it manifest. That pregnancy. Let it manifest. The arrival of that anointing. Let it manifest. The open doors. Let it manifest. My prosperity. Let it manifest. The ministry of destiny help us. Let it manifest. As soon as Zion travails, travail it in prayer, let it manifest. Shata leke parakata brakata balekatosh. Krapakata branda kaparakates. So branda kaparakata lekata bos. Skata balekata branda kabalekata. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. In the name of Jesus, let it manifest. In Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray how many of you are ready to rebuke the spirit of delay you're going to shout this let it be from the depth of your heart that there are many things God has said should be by now but there are spirits that have vowed that you will never see the faithfulness of God in that area now is the time to clear them out of the way are you ready to pray 
shout it, say, Father. Shout it again, say, Father. In the name of Jesus, every delay over my life, over my destiny, by the blood of the eternal covenant, that delay is broken now. Open your mouth and pray. Broken now. Broken now. Delay. Broken now. Go ahead and pray. Delay. Broken now. Delay. Broken now. Delay. Mention every area of your life. Cause delay. Cause delay. Cause delay. Call it by name. Cause it by the blood of the Lamb. Shabakata balaka parakata, krakata lanta kaparaka toskata brakata, shabranta kaparaka tebalaka paruta salavatash. Take a minute and cause delay. There must be results in my life in this season. I cause delay. I cause delay in ministry. I cause delay in destiny. I cause delay over your children. Cause delay over your spouse, over your business. Sabalaka parada kata frest. Skada balanta kata laka parata kata barato siata. Delay. Delay. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. When it was time for Isaac to bless his sons, the blessing was to go to Esau. But because a secret that was in the heart of Isaac was made open, Rebecca had it. And when she had it, she called Jacob. She said, something that should come to your brother, I want it to come to you. And as if it were a joke, eventually Jacob received that blessing. And Esau cried and said, is, is there nothing left? Let me tell you the truth. When matters leave the heart of God, you are not the only one who hears it. That God said, I want to bless you. It's not only you who hears it. The gates of hell, wickedness, powers, and everybody is also interested in that prophecy. What God told you is also of interest to demons. It's also of interest to wicked men. But it is your own responsibility to war in the place of prayer and say that which is a portion for me, it must never be diverted in this season. That which is a portion for my destiny, it will not be aborted in the spirit. Is someone ready to open your mouth and pray? Go ahead and pray. That which God has declared concerning me, it will not be diverted by wizardry. It will not be diverted by powers manipulating the heavens. I decree and declare that which has been spoken concerning me. Oh, I will not make the mistake of Esau. I wore a good warfare with the prophecy. I wore a good warfare. My bishopric, another will not take. My bishopric, another will not take. Pray. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Don't be tired of praying. You're partnering with God to produce victory. Now we're going to pray. We are going to call forth by faith the human agents 
who have been mandated to partner with prophecy so that it will be manifest in your life you can call by faith remember i have taught you because one man forgot joseph added two years in prison so when god speaks the manifestations of his word is not just mindset dependent you have been taught here that it's also men dependent we have dealt with the issue of mindset someone is going to pray shout it from the depth of your heart say father, father. every human agent who must come into partnership with prophecy for my sake i cry unto you may they arise now open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray help us of the war open your mouth and pray endorse us open your mouth and pray don't be silent don't be careless declare by faith ordained by God to partner with your rising ordained by God to wipe the tears of shame from your eyes ordained by God to see to your lifting ordained by God every human agent decree and declare they rise for your sake they come to the rescue for your sake every human agent mandated by God anointed by God the father of spirits to show up in this ministry to show up in my life to show up in my destiny bringing direction enhancing my lifting I call them forth by faith I call them forth by faith I call them forth by faith In Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray two more prayer points don't be tired you are returning with your testimonies for sure in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus you still believe in speed hmm. yes sir that in four months God is still able to bring you acceleration who believes that shout it after me with all your heart say father, father. even now I still believe for speed for acceleration open your mouth and pray even now even now it is August but I still believe for my company it is August but I still believe for speed in ministry speed in my destiny shake away unbelief and pray speed someone pray speed in establishment speed in your finances Lord do in one month what has not been done in five years Jehovah do in one month what has not been done in five years do in one month what has not been done in five years bring speed to my destiny bring speed to my destiny go ahead and pray pray with faith speed to my destiny speed 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 even now I believe you for speed in ministry even now I believe you for speed in destiny Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. 
Mary cried and said, it's too late. The man is dead three days. He said, if you were here, Lazarus would not have died. But he said, even now, even now, huh, even now, it is August. I feel that we should still pray that prayer again. We should pray. I don't know. It may not be for everybody. Father, do in one month what has not been done in five years. Go ahead and pray. Do in one month in my life. Do in one month in the life of my spouse. Do in one month in the life of my children. Do in one month in the destiny of Nigeria. Do in one month in my business. God can bring speed. Speed in your finances. God can change the report in one month. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think it was, was it US or Canada now during the Sound of Revival conference? A lady gave a very touching testimony. I think for about 21 years, if I recall, she had been trusting God, something related to her papers or so. I hope I get the testimony right. 21 years. And just like that, in a moment. It is beautiful to see God move, but it is beautiful to see him move on time. On time. On time. Even now. Let me speak to someone before we take the last prayer point. Everything that seems to be behind schedule in your life, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, if you have the faith to believe it, September will not meet you still desiring that miracle. I say to you, September will not meet you still desiring that miracle. I send a prophetic word, September, not, not September, will not meet you still desiring that miracle. September will only meet Thanksgiving. September will only meet Thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus Christ. For those of you who think every prophetic word is a joke, the Bible says despise not prophesying. I'm still saying it again. We still have a few days. I'm not saying the end of September. I'm saying September will not meet you still waiting for that miracle. Honestly, from the depth of my heart, if you believe, you will be surprised at what my God will do. September will only meet you dancing, only meet you rejoicing, only meet you jumping as far as that matter is concerned. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what the situation is. Shortly we'll be praying over the request. You see, when you come to God, take away your pain for a moment. If not, it will disrupt what God is doing. And you will find out that you'll be hearing words that can change you. But something in you will be saying, is it true? Can God make a table in the wilderness? I know God moves, but can he step in for me that fast? It means you don't know God. In case you didn't have the faith to receive, I'm saying it again. That the remaining days left until August is complete. May that be the length of time left for your miracle to arrive. The remaining days left until August is complete. May that be the length of time left before you begin to testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the prophet said, by this time tomorrow. And a foolish man said, ah, will this happen? For some of you, the meaning of this is that divine direction like you have never seen. From January till now, God will show you the real secrets for the results. In the name of Jesus Christ. For some of you, God will raise men that while you are sleeping, they are awake for your sake. In the name of Jesus Christ.
let me give you the last prayer point very quickly we have to hurry up my god the last prayer point are you ready to pray now you're going to pray and i wrote this while i was praying as god was just telling me the things to be praying on the final thing that i wrote here is we're going to pray the spirits that take away joy listen that when you receive a testimony it doesn't seem to last there is no longevity have you seen people like that as soon as a breakthrough comes they are even afraid because another news will soon follow I don't know about you but take the next two to three minutes you are going to war in the spirit whatever the Lord do it it endures forever Lord I will not laugh today and cry tomorrow I will not celebrate today and cry tomorrow you will not start something and then leave me in shame someone open your mouth say father bring your word to completion in my life and give it longevity in my life open your mouth and pray bring your word to completion everything you have begun bring your word to completion someone is praying bring your word to completion bring your word to completion and give it longevity let me not rejoice today and cry tomorrow let me not celebrate your blessing today and lose it tomorrow let me not celebrate promotion today and lose it tomorrow you don't lift men up and bring them down longevity of impact longevity of relevance hallelujah in Jesus name I don't have time that's why I'm not showing you all the scriptures my apology but the scripture connected to this will not quote it but I'll write it for you I would I would just just um, quote it the Bible tells us that after 10 plagues nine plagues when the tenth one came listen that Pharaoh released the people in a hurry they left such that their door could not even rise he said go 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 in and the Bible says as they left Pharaoh suddenly said no I won't give up on them even though they have gone he said get your army pursue them and bring them back so don't just say I have left Egypt there's still Pharaoh regretting that he left you and is on his way with a chariot are we together now but Miriam sang a song for us he said I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and its rider have been thrown into the sea we are still going to pray that prayer one more time that everything that represents Pharaoh still wanting to pull me back into my pain of yesterday wanting to, to bring back the shame of yesterday to have blessings and lose it to have joy and lose it to have sleep and lose it in the name of Jesus it is drowned forever open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray invest one more minute in prayer drown forever drown forever Drown forever. I have left Egypt. I will never return there as a slave again. I've been called to walk in liberty. I will never return there in shame again. Been healed I will never go back to that sickness again the spirit that resurrects trouble resurrects pain resurrects shame resurrects disappointment I curse you over my life in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ very quickly please pass your prayer requests everybody Bring out your prayer requests. If you are yet to write it, overflows outside. Take a minute. Let me give you one minute while you are praying in the spirit. Please write your prayer requests very quickly. Zaria. And every other expression, those online. Please pass it to the last person by the left or right to make it easier. And begin to pray in the spirit. Be in this attitude of prayer. You are praying seriously. You must testify.
Go ahead and very quickly. Pass your request while you are praying. Don't be distracted. Finally, it is my turn to testify. I have a superior belief system that is anti-curses, anti-yokes, anti-divination. You are praying for yourself, praying for your children, praying for your spouse, praying for your ministry. Very quickly, let's have the prayer request. Ushers, let's make it fast. Very quick, very quick. Let's have it so that we can pray. Please make sure your prayer request gets here. If you're yet to submit, just wave it and an usher will see it. Wave it very quickly. Ushers, let's, let's be fast about that. hallelujah let me give you one more prayer point i just saw a vision now and i want us to pray that prayer point i just saw like blood dripping i know what it means we're going to pray one more prayer that every legal access satan has over my life that is authorizing whether dreams whether visions whether repetition of patterns by the blood of the eternal covenant I severe it from my life finally. Are you ready to pray? Say, Father, every legal hold that Satan has over my life, over my destiny, by the blood, let it be broken now. Open your mouth and pray. Everyone, break the legal hold. For when the blood speaks, there is no more authorization for darkness. For when the blood speaks, there is no authorization for witchcraft. When the blood speaks, it speaks mercy, triumphing over judgment. Someone pray. Every legal hold Satan has over my life, every legal hold Satan has over my destiny, every legal hold over my children. Someone pray. Legal hold, bringing patterns of sickness, Patterns of death, patterns of failure, patterns of setback, patterns of delay, patterns of shame, patterns of retrogression, patterns of going up and coming down, patterns of failure at the edge of breakthrough by the blood of the eternal covenant. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. Someone pray. Let it be broken now in the name of Jesus. Let it be broken. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We're about to pray over this, but I want to pray a very special prayer now very quickly. This prayer on the blood, I want to make a decree. We don't have time to bring all the people out, but please anyone under the anointing, ushers, just, just help them. I know you are multitasking, but I want to pray. There are people here who are victims of the legal hold of darkness. And you know that they are victims of this because of repetitive patterns. They will pray, they will fast, and yet you will see it happen again. Every time the, the devil does not seem to mind your spiritual activity is because he's standing based on a legal hold. You have to enforce that which is finished in Christ and engage the blood to command the experience of your victory. I want to pray for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are people here under the sound of my voice. Inside, all the overflows. Outside, connecting online. You have seen this recurring patterns of death of failure of defeat 
strange dreams, molestations as you sleep, all kinds of satanic manipulations, and you wake up, you see physical consequences of those things. Right now, I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names for everyone who came for this miracle service carrying any embargo that gives the devil legal access my god i feel fire burning on my hands i decree and declare right now that legal access be broken that legal access be broken be broken be broken be broken, be broken be broken in the name of Jesus be broken every ordinance of the fathers covenants they entered with familiar spirits covenants they entered with dark powers and because you are part of their natural descent it seems to be telling on you this night whether you come from the north of Nigeria the south of Nigeria the east the west the middle belt by the blood of the eternal covenant those covenants are broken now broken now covenants of death broken now covenants of failure broken now covenants of setback broken now in the name of Jesus anybody who has said you will pay the price with your children and your children's children I stand as an anointed servant of God and I decree and declare that pronouncement is broken over your life I've shared it here in Koinonia a young man who was always causing his mother pain this is a story I know of many years ago the mother cursed him and she said he will only stop stealing the day a rat stops stealing that's what the mother told him that for as long as you have the mouse rat stealing that he will keep stealing and truly bring him out of the prison he will go back again after a few days whatever is hanging on your head as a result of the anger of someone or mistakes you made and people bowed unto God and cursed you and said certain things that must follow you I declare by the blood that ill speaking is wiped off your head now wiped off your destiny now wiped off your head now wiped off your destiny now I say it again wiped off your head now wiped off your destiny now in the name of Jesus Christ where they said you would die I declare leave where they have said you will go down I declare you will keep rising higher in the name of Jesus Christ for shame I declare receive double in the name of Jesus Christ we are praying over the issue of supernatural protection and preservation are we together now Luke chapter 10 and verse 19 I'll give you three scriptures two more now Luke 10 19 please Luke 10 19 behold koinonia I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy it says and nothing shall by any means someone say by any means nothing shall by any means hurt you nothing shall by any means hurt you second timothy 4 and verse 18 second timothy 4 and verse 18 and the lord shall deliver me from every evil work it says and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom to whom be glory forever and ever someone shout say in the name of jesus one more time say in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit that every work of evil over my life over my, life, over my, family, over my family and all connected to me all connected to i come against you in the name of I jesus you open your mouth and begin to pray <laughs> Someone is praying. 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 Some
Jesus. In the name of 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 Jesus. He said he suffered no man to do them wrong. He reproved kings for their sake, saying, Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am God's anointed. I am God's anointed. Therefore I declare. Therefore I declare. That every evil. That every evil. Against my life. Against my life. I curse you by the blood of the Lamb. Open your mouth and pray. Every evil. Every evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every closed door. Every closed door. Over my destiny. Over my destiny. Right now. Right now. I declare. I declare. Be open. Be open. Please open your mouth and pray. Be open. Every closed door. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He said, I desire to come to you once and again, even I, Paul, but Satan hindered us. Satan can hinder men. I'd like you to shout it from the depth of your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I take authority, take authority over every hindrance. Over every hindrance. Stopping good things. Stopping good from things. coming into my life. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every hindrance. Man, systems, demonic forces. Every hindrance. I come against you. I come against you. I come against you. Every hindrance, every hindrance, every hindrance, every hindrance. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. If you are in ministry, or you are in any form of leadership as we pray this prayer let it be from your heart every chain every 
every chain. Shout it again. Say every chain. Every chain. Tying down my advancement. Tying down my advancement. Tying down my progress. Tying down my progress. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Go ahead and pray. Every chain. In the name of Jesus. Be broken. 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 Chains 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 be broken. In the name of Jesus. 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 Say every legal access. Every legal access. That the devil has over my life. That the devil has over my life. Over the works of my hands. Over the works of my hands. And over all connected to me. And over all connected to me. By the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of the Lamb. I declare. I declare. That access is broken now. Go ahead and pray. Every legal access. Every legal access. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please listen carefully. Listen carefully. Just help those under the anointing. When I was preparing the prayer requests, this prayer request, I had a vision. And in the vision, I saw a woman sitting down. And I just saw tears coming out of her eyes. And that was when this scripture came. Psalm 116 verse 8. Psalm 116 and verse 8. Psalm 116 for thou hast delivered my soul from death my eyes from tears and my feet from falling someone say in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I decree and declare I decree and declare that the spirits that the spirit and the forces and the force responsible for my tears responsible for my tears I declare judgment upon you now open your mouth and pray In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The mantle for my destiny. The mantle for my destiny. The mantle for my assignment. Rest upon me now. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. The grace assigned. The mantle assigned for your destiny. Let it rest upon you. Shabbat Shalom. 
In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, two more prayer points. Fire is burning in this place. Hmm. You are going to pray. Everything that left my life, everything that left my life, by demonic orchestrations, by demonic orchestrations, I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Return back to my destiny. Open your mouth and prophesy. Restoration. 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 Everything. 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 Restore. Restore. Restore years. Restore things. Restore years. Restore things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. The final prayer point, I want you to pray it with all of your heart. 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 26. 15, 26. And the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Last week, you cannot imagine how many people I got without exaggeration, probably thousands of text messages saying, Apostle, thank you so much. That message, I shall not die. It just destroyed. You cannot imagine how many people live perpetually in the fear of death. Fear of death. He says, and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage. Say in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare that I have no covenant with death. I have no covenant with the grave. Therefore, every altar that wants to administer death may the Lord judge you right now open your mouth and pray I have no covenant with death no covenant with death no covenant with death no covenant with the grave someone pray no covenant with death in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus many of you will be surprised as you see answers to this prayer begin to come into your life there is a God that answers prayers he says there shall be no more infant of days you see when you see things going wrong in your life 
you have a responsibility to identify it based on the will of God not based on emotions the basis for everything we do listen I have taught you that the the administration of the power of God is within the jurisdiction of the will of God the power of God does not act outside of the will of God are we together the ability the assignment the mandate upon the power of God is to restore all things to be consistent with the will of God hallelujah so when the power of God comes upon a person it works only with respect to the will of God this is the confidence upon which we can release God's word and expect it to work because when the word of God listen the word of God works like a drug when a doctor gives you a pill or a set of pill to swallow you don't have to tell the pill where to go to already designed are we together now it knows where to go and find the entire pharmacology of the drug it was designed to identify there is a way it works in your body for some of you the moment you swallow the drug it will demand that you are asleep for it to really work so it will just hibernate your body and force you to sleep and then you wake up with a sigh of relief hallelujah when the power of God comes into your life it does not know you as a person it only knows the will of God or what is not the will of God and the assignment of the power of God is to start scanning your life no this this growth here is inconsistent with the will of God that becomes the ministry right there hallelujah so don't just fall down and stand up for nothing don't just shout and scream for nothing no understand what the power of God is doing in your life when we are praying for the sick we may not mention your case you see because even within the prophetic you are limited and whether your case is mentioned or not yours is to receive let the power of God go into your body the power of God has no business going to your kidneys when the problem is in your head if a drug that was designed by man has that level of intelligence and precision how much more the word of God that is quick and powerful the Bible says it is sharper than every two-edged sword it is able to divide even to asunder between the soul and the spirit and that it can even discern the intent of the heart of man hallelujah When the anointing of the spirit comes upon you you must believe that you received something and then you must take the relevant actions once i pray for the sick and we we it is time to take testimonies for those in all the overflow so that we do it in an orderly manner as we always do if they are coming for the testimony allow them to come those outside there are several people outside so that there's no chaos make sure that there's an orderly way to usher them in and then for those who are online you can always send in your testimonies and we'll be able to take a few in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ Jesus did not ignore the presence of demons Jesus did not ignore the reality of the ministry of demons in fact in his teaching very clearly he would he would let them know that from the beginning it was not so that Satan had played a role in the conditions of those people but the most important thing is that every time Jesus works miracles it is for the revelation of his glory that means one of the ways that he reveals his glory is by working miracles John chapter 2 and verse 11 this beginning of miracles the Bible says did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory how did he manifest his glory by beginning to do miracles the Bible says and the disciples believed in him hallelujah in John chapter 20 from verse 30 and 31 give it to us please John 20 and many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of the disciples which are not written in this book 31 it says but these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ the Son of God and that in believing you might receive life through his name 
so there are no limits to what he's able to do hallelujah several people have come right now with oppressions of darkness and there is no reason you can't have some of you have come here from as early as eight nine in the morning can you imagine to wait that long only to experience the power of God would it be just and fair that you return back the way you came and then the only thing you say is well I came for a miracle service what then is the miracle about the service 